Hey everyone, Leo with Dreaming Tree, and welcome to the assembly video for our Cherry Blossom pop-up card. We're trying something new as we try to do every week. And we're gonna begin with our card base. And as you can see here, I've already pre-folded it. And I'm gonna start off, while things are flat, by putting this panel down. Now, this, uh, this little sky sort of pattern, uh, I inked it a little bit. You'll notice that there's a series of little markers on this. You want the markers to be towards the bottom half of whatever, whatever piece of paper you're gluing down. Uh, because, well that is where, down here we actually have uh, little markers for our caption. Now of course we've included, well we've included Dear Mom, Dear Mum, and then Mike put together a handful of bonus captions. Um, I think we did something for birthday. Uh, what else? Eh, I don't really remember, but you have a little marker here. Top right, bottom right. Just make sure you pop the corner of this right into that little spot. Okay, use that as your guide. Make sure that everything is nice and straight. And then press that down into place. Okay, hopefully I got enough glue on there. Wanted to do something springy that could be used beyond Mother's Day. You know, in the past we've focused on just one little thing that sort of limited what you can use it for. And I think that was not helpful. Um, you know, if you wanted to adapt it and make it for another occasion, uh, it wasn't the easiest. But anyway, so that's in place. Now there's a beautiful uh, cherry blossom branch that's going to go on the front of this. And I'm going to help you construct that right now. Okay, so thanks to the magic of technology, um, I have to reshoot uh, part of the assembly here, which is okay. Uh, real quick, just in case I didn't cover it, this is the panel that's going to go on the front. And you'll notice that there's a series of little score marks on here. You want to make sure that the score marks are at the bottom half of this panel. Okay, and you want to keep an even border all the way around. There are little markers here on the corners to help you with the placement of the top right and top left. Uh, of this panel. And then there's also little markers for the caption, Dear Mom. Just make sure that you position that correctly. And also, if you're using an alternate caption like Dear Mom or the others that we've provided, you'll find a blank version of this. Well, one that does not have markers for Dear Mom in your extras folder. Okay. So let's take a look at the assembly for, and you can see here that I already did this and I thought I was recording but my memory card messed up. So see how beautiful that looks. And I'm gonna walk you through the process here. So here's the main part of the, uh, well, the cherry blossom on the front. And you'll notice that there's a series of numbers on here. One, two, three, four. And four is four little marks in the shape of a square. And I'm gonna write them here. So you can see it looks like this. It's just four little marks in the shape of a square. Okay, that right there, and that's a, that's a four, and a five is the same thing, but with one extra next to it, a Roman numeral, okay? So just keep that in mind, and what we're going to do is we're going to go through these pieces here, and what I want you to do first, before we actually do the flowers, we're going to do the elements that do not contain numbers. We have a few, what I'll call half flowers, and we have a few buds, okay? And then there's also a few little leaves that, well, we really don't have uh, any connection to the actual flowers themselves. So let's start with these little half flowers, okay? So you'll notice that we have this little half flower, and this is going to be the layer that's going to go on top of it. But it also takes one of these stamens. There's only three that look like this, look like little crowns. There's one large. That's going to go with this one, and then there's two small, okay? And these two, there's two half flowers that are the same size. They're a little bit smaller, okay? So let me move this out of the way here. Let's put this one together. This is the large one. We're going to take the stamen piece that looks like a crown. This is the largest of the three, 
we'll throw a little drop of glue on there. And then inside of this base piece here are a series of little score marks. You're gonna pop that right in there so it kind of cradles it. Just glue that down. You don't need to glue down all of the individual stamens. You can just let them hang loose. And then take the little piece that goes on top and pop that right into place. Make sure it matches up with the shadow layer behind it. And there you have the first of the little half flowers. We're gonna do the same thing with these small ones here. Again, they're both the same size. We'll flip this over and just put one little drop onto the very base and then just match that up with the little marker like so. And then take the overlay. You can put glue on this whole thing and just match that up with the shadow of that back layer. Okay. Now on my final version, you can see that I have inked it and it looks fantastic. And this is a great, um, well, side by side to show you the difference between a project that's inked and one that isn't. Now for this project, instead of using my felt applicator, and again, putting the small crown on that small shadow layer, and then the petal overlays are gonna go on top of that. Whoops. Just glue that right on there, just make sure it matches up. And I'll show you the brushes that I used. Instead of the felt applicator, which is right here, okay, I actually used some brushes that look like this. And that really made much quicker work out of everything. Okay, so the little half flowers are done. And now we also have some little buds. Okay, so let's do this. Let's start with number one down here. So what you're gonna do is find, this piece has a Roman numeral one on it. And then there's gonna be a, looks like a lighter version. So there's a one as well. Okay, the darker is gonna go on top of the lighter. So you want to apply glue to this entire piece like so. And first off, I want to match up the little circle. And then the darker part will be on the inside of this set of leaves here. So it kind of gives it like a two-tone look. Okay, so you can see that. So that's one. Okay, now you're going to also find flower number one. And this one is labeled. It has a little Roman numeral on it. And let's just keep those together and put that off to the side for a second. And now let's look at number two. Okay, number two actually is right here. And number two doesn't have any greenery. It is just a flower. Okay, so we'll leave that alone for a second. Now let's go to number three. Here is the lighter part of number three. And here is the darker part of number three. And you can see how they overlay to give that a also a two-tone sort of look. Okay, so go ahead and apply green or <laughs> apply glue to the darker green. Match up that circle and then match up the contour of the leaves. There is three. And then find flower number three. That's gonna go right here. One thing we can do now is you wanna take a, a medium or small dowel and place the tip of the petal between your finger and the dowel and then just curl it towards you. Just like you're curling your hair, I think. That's how you curl your hair. We're gonna do that with all of these petals. Okay. And two, again, is by itself, doesn't have any greenery, but we still wanna kinda of curl that a little bit. Now obviously it's gonna go inside of an, en of an envelope, uh, at which point it may flatten out a little bit, but it will kind of keep a little bit of its memory. Okay, so let's take a look at number four. There's piece number four. Now with four, okay, so you're gonna find piece four and then there's a, an overlay for four with the darker green. So go ahead and apply your glue to that. And I'm gonna put that right on here, like so. Just match up the edges of the leaves there and then press that down and then find flower number four. Let's curl that up. Okay, just put that together. Leave that off to the side for now. And now let's take a look at number five. This is number five, and number five goes right up here. 
It's going to be angled like this. This little guy here does not have an overlay. And so here's number five. It's going to be pointing down like this. And this one has a little single overlay that looks like this. Okay, and this one's going to go right here. So it's just a single piece. And that one's going to go right here. So I'm going to match up the little points of the leaf. Okay, so that's five. The rest of these pieces are going to go on by themselves. And I'll show you where they all go. Now you want to find flower number five. Give that a little bit of a curl. There we go. Okay, so keep those together. And now what we can do, we'll take some of these stray pieces here. We'll start off with this one. This one's the most identifiable. It's got a little bit of a half flower connected to, uh, well, some other elements, including a little bud. So go ahead and apply some glue to that. And that's gonna go right here, like so. Just like that. Okay, next, you're gonna find this little piece. It almost looks like a little broom. It's a, it's a stem with a bud on the end of it. But we need to put that down next. And that's gonna go right on top here. I would match up the tip of the bud first, and then the stem, the base of the stem, okay? Then what you can do is find, and we need to put the little buds together. There's a lighter pink and a darker pink. And you'll notice that of these buds here, one of the buds has two little flowers beginning to emerge out of it, and one has three. Okay, so match up the ones that go together. This one has what kind of resembles three little, um, three little petals emerging. It's gonna go on top of the lighter pink. Okay, and then on top of that, we wanna cap that off with this little brown piece. This is Encore Mocha. And that's just gonna go right at the base, like so. And then let's take a look at this last little bud. There's only two little buds. This one has two little petals coming off of it. I'm gonna put the darker pink on top of the lighter pink. Just match that up as accurately as you can. And then again, cap that off with that little brown piece. Make sure you don't throw that one away. If you're missing it, you probably threw it out. And that's just gonna go right at the base of that bud. Okay, so we've got two little buds. And the one, the one with the two little flowers coming off is gonna go right here. Okay, right on that little, that little broom that we just put together. So you can pop that one right into place there. And then the one with the three flowers coming out of the bud is gonna go right here onto this section. And you can put that down now, that's fine. Okay, now while we're in this area here, we have this little single leaf on a stem. And that's gonna go right here. Okay, and then we have a single leaf on a shorter stem. And that's gonna go right here. Just like that. We also have another single leaf that's gonna go down here. It's the bottom most little leaf. So we can put that down next. And that just leaves this light green that's gonna go right down here right next to that other single one. Just match that up. And then there's a darker overlay that's gonna go on top of this one. Just find that corner, hug the little perimeter there. There we go, okay. So now what we can do is we can take these half flowers. The largest one is gonna go down at the bottom, right here. Just match that up. And then there's a smaller one here at the top, all the way at the top. 
line that up, and then one more right here on top of this green. Right there. Smash that up. I don't have to be as careful because I've already done this once. Okay, so now, now we're left with the flowers and the leaves. So find number one, and here's number one. There are two little nubs here, and that's to kind of help you with the alignment of these. This little nub here is going to sort of contour this little curve here. Okay, so you want to make sure that the, the circular part of the one matches up properly, and then just kind of rotate a little bit so that it matches up with that curve of that little nub that's hanging off there. Put a one on, or put some glue on the one, line it up, and then just press that down. And then you can grab flower number one, throw a dot of glue right onto the green, and press that into place. Now we can go over to two. Let's find number two. Now remember two does not have any leaves behind it, so it just need to put glue on number two and pop that into place. Now let's go to three. Let's grab the leaves for three. And same thing here. Now, this one here that has like the two little tips is gonna be on your right hand side and it's gonna go like roughly like this. Okay, it's gonna be hanging off like that. So go ahead and put a little drop of glue on three. And let me double check that. You can see my, my final version here. If it's slightly off, it's not the end of the world. Okay, and that is slightly off. It's okay. And now let's apply some more glue onto the green part of three. Press flower three into place. Now let's go over to four. Again, we have some little nubs there. You can put glue on the four and the little nubs. Take the green part from number four and match that up with those little nubs so that it's right on top of the little shadow section. And then put some glue on the green part of four and rotate those petals so they're not fighting for space. Pop that into place. Now number five. Now number five is a little bit easier because we have a brown shadow element for number five. So we can actually put glue on the back of this on the green and the thinner leaf and just line that up. Make sure it matches up with the circle. Press that down and then put flower number five into place. Again, rotate those petals so they're not competing for space. And there you have it. So now all, is, all that's left now is the stamens. Now let me explain the stamens real quick because when you cut this out, and you peel it off your mat, you're gonna have a bunch of different ones, okay? The stamens for this, for the front of the card are all gonna be solid like this, okay? For the inside of the card, you'll notice that there are some larger ones and they have score marks down the center, okay? So if it has a score mark, there's two large ones with score marks and there's two small ones with score marks. Those are all for the inside of the card. And then there's a series of stamens that are also cut in half. Those are for the inside of the card. Maybe those were out of the frame. Here you can see these have little score marks. So fold those and just put those to the side for the inside of the card. So there's two large, two small ones that are folded, and then the rest are cut in half. So put those off to the side. We're gonna use that for the inside of the card. So what you should be left with are five of these plus one. So six of these, one is really large, that is for the envelope, okay? The super large one, if you, if you lay these out by size, you can tell that that one's the largest. That's gonna go for the envelope. These five <clears throat> are gonna go onto these flowers here, and obviously you wanna find the largest stamen. The largest stamen is gonna go on the largest flower, and then there's a real small one, so put the small one with the smallest flower. And then these three are all pretty much the same size, so they can go on the three remaining flowers. And what I would do is just take and apply some glue to the center of the stamens and press those into place on all five flowers. Okay, so that is gonna be it for the, uh, the floral piece on the front. 
Okay, now let me show you something real quick here. Uh, one thing I want to mention, okay, and my cat just caught a mouse and he's in here and that's the sound he makes when he does that. So enjoy that. Uh, you'll notice on here, there's a, a little marker here, okay, and that marker is actually for this leaf right here. This leaf that's next to this half flower, okay? So you're gonna match that up there and then you're gonna adjust this so that this leaf is not obstructing or it could slightly be over uh, the D, okay? But it's roughly gonna go like that. I don't wanna glue this down yet because we have to work on the inside and I don't wanna mess this up when we're doing a lot of folding, okay? So we're gonna put this off to the side and now we can start working on the inside of our card. Okay, so because I'm OCD, let's go ahead and open up the card base. I already have this on here. And you'll notice that when you cut these out, you'll have one that has TL and TR etched into the corner or into the actual sheet. Let's take TL. T just means that T has to be right side up so that you know that it's right side up, okay? Um, L indicates that this has to be on the left-hand side. Now there are some markers here on both the top left and bottom left to help you ensure that you get that lined up correctly. So just press that down into place. Now I, I wrote this in and it's not a big deal because it's gonna be covered up. Okay, now let's go over to TR. And let's get that glued down. Same thing. There are some markers here to help you with the positioning. It's pretty important that you get it pretty accurate as far as the location of that. Make sure your T is right side up and make sure that in fact TR is on the right hand side. Okay, and let's let that Let's let that sit for a second. Uh, typically I'll do the envelope last, but let's just get it done while we wait for that to set. Okay, and we can get some other pieces out of the way so we don't get confused. Make sure everything's pre-folded. And what we're gonna do is apply glue. Actually, let me check something out real quick here. Okay, so here's what we need to do. We need to apply some glue around this little cherry blossom. And then what we'll do is take this, I have my um, texture side up. I'm gonna focus the glue just around the perimeter, like that. And this is gonna go on here centered. And just press that down. Okay, there we go. And then you're gonna take your little stamen and apply some glue. You can put a, little, a couple little tiny drops onto the tips so they don't get snagged. Dab that with your finger to thin it out. And that's just gonna go right in the center of your flower. Make sure it is centered. Press that down. And then you're gonna take the two sides, fold them in, apply glue along the inside seam here, or the inside border perimeter and then take the bottom and lift it up and press it down. Okay, and there's our envelope. Another piece done. Put that off to the side, let that set. Now let's grab, let's grab these leftover green pieces here. These are gonna go on in a little bit, but these we need to glue together. Just like the front, we have a dark and a light green that are gonna go on top of each other, the dark on top of the light. So go ahead and apply your glue to the dark green portion. And pop that right on top of this one. Just make sure it matches up nicely, like so. Same thing with the other side. Okay, and this is actually going to get glued into the card base before we do anything else with the pop-up mechanism. Just make sure it's lined up as accurately as you can. There we go. Press that down. All right, now let's go in here. 
Okay, so take a look at these and you'll notice that there are two leaves that are relatively closer to each other than these two are. Okay, these two are gonna actually be pointing in like this. And now it's just a matter of locating these little markers here and getting them in there so that these round parts are gonna match up with these round sections here, okay? So that's gonna go there and you'll see once you get it, it fits perfectly inside of these little markers. So we want it like this, okay? So it's at a little bit of an angle. And then we have some beautiful leaves there at the bottom as well. So again, just make sure you get that. I would look at these three right here. There's, it's kind of like a, like a U, a U, and then an upside down U. And that's where this little part of the set of leaves is gonna go. The rest of it will just kind of fall into place. Okay, so that's gonna be like that. And then this one is basically a mirror of the other one. So it's gonna go down in roughly the same way. Okay, look at this little lump here. And voila. And these are going to act as our guide for placing the actual mechanism. So we're, we're pretty much there, almost there. Okay, so let's, there's two pieces that are gonna create this accordion mechanism, okay? Let's start with the lighter pink, okay? From the center, you're gonna do a valley fold. These are little slits here, so you don't need to worry about those. The next fold is gonna be a mountain fold right here. And then in here is gonna be a valley fold and then another mountain fold and then finally a valley fold. So going from the center this way, we have again, valley, this is slit, don't worry about that. Mountain fold, valley fold, mountain fold, valley fold. And just leave it like that. Now the darker pink starting in the center. Center is going to be a valley fold. The two folds next to it, both mountain folds. Then we have a slit. Don't worry about that. To the left and right of the slit, you're going to have a valley fold. And then finally, you're going to have another valley fold. Okay. So here's where it gets fun. So what we're going to do now is take the lighter pink and we want this part to be in front, but we do want to take and run the, run the slits through like this. Okay, so just slide that through there and grab this piece and slide that through there so that the dark pink is in the middle here, but the light pink is dominant and in front the rest of the way. Okay, and then all we're gonna do then, let's make sure that it folds flat. Once we have that, it should line up nicely, like so. And then all that's left to do then, this little uh, of the darker pink, this last valley fold is gonna get glued right here, like so. You're gonna match that up with that last petal so that the little valley on the petal matches up with that last little we'll call it a tab. Okay, that whole thing is going to get glued to that pedal. So there's one set, two sets, three sets, four sets that are all the same size. And then there's one set that is a little bit smaller. Okay. The four sets that are the same size well, one's going to go here on this set of flowers. We're going to do this now while it's still flat so it's easier. And just go very easy on the glue here. Don't need to go too crazy. You can thin that out a little bit. And then just use the little markers to help you with the placement. And try to get that right in as close to the center as you can. Pardon my head. Okay, there's one half. We'll do the same thing on the other. We want them to somewhat be touching so that when it is opened up, it almost looks continuous, but at the same time, you don't want to obstruct its ability to close. So just be careful. Okay. And let's just make sure that we can fold that closed, which kind of moved it a little bit and that's fine. Okay. Cause it's not going to open up all the way. 
Yeah, and that moved it way too much. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that again, but wait for it to dry a little bit before I try to close it. So just be patient. Mine was not dry at all. Okay, use those little, use those little markers. Okay, give that a second to fully set. That's better. Okay, so there's one there. And we're gonna go all the way over to this side here and do the same thing with the larger set of stamens. Because remember, there's one that's really small. That's gonna be for our center flower. Okay, use those little markers to help you with the placement. And then as I mentioned, make sure that the other half lines up with it as close as you can get it. Oops, let me flip this around. There we go, press that down. Okay, perfect. All right, now let's go in the center here, and that's gonna use the smaller section of the split stamens here. Just get a little bit of glue out of your glue bottle, out of your nozzle, and then just kind of hit that. You don't need to keep pressing, just press it once, get a little bit out there, and just kind of keep dabbing it. Use those little markers to guide you. Make sure it's nice and straight in there. There we go. And grab the other small one, same thing. Go easy on the glue here. You don't need a lot. And let's match that up. Use the little markers, try to get that into the center as close as you can. Give that a few seconds. And then I'm gonna take and just make sure that that folds okay. There we go. Okay, cool. The remaining four are gonna go in here where it's split on the back. It's mostly not visible, but it kinda is depending on the angle, which is why we wanted to make sure that we added them there as well. Okay, so just get your glue on there. Kinda thin that out with your fingers. Get that out of the way. Use those markers, that's what they're there for and press that into place. I'll show you, it's kind of being blocked by the top layer of petals, but you can see that there. The other one's gonna go on the other half. Let me clean off this nozzle here. Just get those right in between those little markers. There we go. And then that just leaves these over here under this section. You can kind of pull this out if you need to a little bit. Nice and easy with the glue. Dab that with your finger if you need to. And use those little markers. I think I had more glue on my finger than I did on the bottom of the piece of paper. I'm sure you've all been there. <laughs> okay, getting a little bit of glue on the tips of those stamen. We'll rotate it this way, because I know it's gotta go on this half. Just match it up with the other one and try to use those markers if you're off a little bit. Don't worry so much about the markers, just try to match it up with the previous one. There we go. Okay, let's slide this back in there, like so. Just make sure that it matches up nicely. Okay, good deal. Slide that all the way down, as far as it'll go. All right, next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and actually the final little valley fold here, remember, you can see this little dip here, that is gonna match up 
with the flower, this little part of the flower, okay? And when you do need to bring this in a little bit so that it also matches up with the bottom of the flower. Okay, so we gotta kinda, might, there might be a little bit of resistance, but just try to get that little valley matched up with this part here and this part here. So we're gonna apply glue to just this little tab. Try to cover it completely. Match up that little dip on top of that flower petal. Make sure that's lined up. Hold it and then bring this down and make sure that this is matched up with the, the curve of that bottom piece there as well. And press that into place and hold it. Okay, and check this out. This little notch here is gonna match up here as well. That's how we know where to place it when we're all done, okay? Now another thing that we're gonna need to do as we're working through this is just ensure that this thing folds correctly onto itself. Okay, so far so good. It's folding nicely, which means the, the mechanism is going to work. All right, now we can go over to this side now and let's apply some glue to this other piece. And as I mentioned, I'm gonna align that with that little notch at the top of that petal as accurately as you can. And then down on the bottom should also match up with that curve of that bottom petal. Okay, let's press that down. All right, now I have most of it together and it should fold onto itself like this. And it does. Okay, look at that. It still looks kind of weird, but we're not quite done yet. We have a few more little overlays that we need to put into place, okay? So we're gonna start, don't worry about that. That was just the little, okay. So now you'll notice here, there's a little G. G means glue, okay? And we're actually, what we'll do is we're going to glue this piece on like this, okay? Let's go ahead and apply some glue here throughout this entire thing, this entire platform. Okay. And then we also need to apply glue on this section here. And covering up all that beautiful inking. Oh no. Match that up on this side here. Press that into place. Make sure it's lined up as accurately as you can get it. And then go over to this side. And you kind of need to kind of push that in a little bit, but also match it up with the flower that's there, like so. And now it's important while we're doing this, before it completely sets, that it can continue to fold on itself. Perfect. Okay. So that piece is in there. Press down there. Grab the other piece that looks like this. I'm gonna go over here where there's the G. So we can apply glue here. And here, well, yep, yeah, this is fine. Just like that. I'm gonna match this part up with the leaf first since it's kind of the easiest to, to see visually. Match that up there with that little that little nub that pops out. Okay, then head on over to the other half. Match that up. And down here. Perfect. Okay. There we go. And again, let's make sure it closes. And it does. The rest of this is cake. That was probably the hardest part, and that's that's a good thing. Okay, now we have these two little guys. Okay, and um, you'll see there's a, a, a seam in the middle. You want the the seam to be in the middle, but the two the uh, petals where there's two of them at the top. You want that to be at the top because these are going to match up right here. Okay, and all we need to do. We're actually just gonna focus on applying glue to this little area here and down the middle a little bit. 
We just need it to stay in place. We don't want to overdo it with the glue here. So just match that up and push that into place. Mine is not in place. Might scoot it a little bit. That's okay. There we go. And then before it fully sets, fold it and just make sure that it continues to fold on itself. There we go. But just give that plenty of time to dry. And we do the same thing on the other side here. Again, the seam is in the middle. We want the we want two petals on top. Go ahead and apply your glue to this little section here. There's a little valley fold here. It almost looks like a little heart. Okay, and the top two petals. And I got some glue in a spot where it shouldn't, but that's okay. It'll dry pretty clear. It'll be okay. And just line up those petals there as accurately as you can. Well, it's slipping and sliding. Jeez, what is going on here? There we go. Okay, and then once it's set, there might be a little bit of resistance when we go to fold this again, but that's expected. It's okay. All right, just make sure that it folds in a little bit. Don't go all the way. Okay, there we go. All these beautiful flowers popping out. Okay, now while we're waiting for all that to set, um, we have Okay, there's gonna be four leaves left. There's two lighter and two darker. Okay, we're gonna go with the darker green here. And one of them's gonna go here. Just need to match it up with the, uh, with the little tips of the leaves just to make sure we've got the right one in the right spot. The tip of this one's kind of curving off to the left. So that's gonna go right there. And that's also gonna help create the curve, the curvature for that other petal and then this one's going to go over onto the right right here there we go and then you'll see here there are two leaves in the back those are the lighter green the one that's kind of pointing off to the right is going to go on the right and the one that's pointing off to the left is going to go to the left you can do that while this is flat Just line that up as accurately as you can. And the last one. And then we just have four of the little stamens that have score marks in them to put down. And then we just need to anchor this in place and your card is done. So it's really not bad and it's a very, very nice card. Very impressive, I think at least. Okay, there we go. All right, now we've given that plenty of time to kind of dry. Now we're gonna to need to kind of push right here on those two small flowers that we added just to make sure that it still closes. And it does. Okay, there we go. And they open nicely. So now all that's left to do is apply our stamen. We have two large stamen. Obviously those are gonna go in the center here. And what I'd suggest doing here, just to keep this from kind of ripping and, and getting destroyed, is try not to put too much glue or actually don't put any glue in the center along that seam. Just leave it alone. Work around it. And we're gonna put, we're gonna anchor down the tips of the stamens, but that middle part, we're gonna kind of leave it free floating a little bit just to give that card a little bit of room in case it's undergoing any stress. Okay, so take that, find the center, just pop it right in there. And just make sure it closes. <clears throat> there we go. Same thing on the other side. And then Then we have the two smaller ones for the two smaller flowers right next to them. So I'm just kind of 
folding this in half kind of like together and then just get that centered. Just press it in place. You can also just kind of fold it to press it in place. And there we go. Okay. Looks awesome. And then it just leaves these two small ones. And we're gonna do the same thing with these. And they're just gonna go into these little guys here. Okay, so that just leaves the small little stamens here. And just wanna get a little bit of glue. Um, not exactly the middle, don't put it any on the seam, just right to the outside, a little bit on each of the little stamens, just dab that with your fingers to really, really thin it out, and then go ahead and get that centered. A little score mark in the center of that thing, so it should help you with the placement. Just get one side in place, and then if it helps, which it always helps me, take a little scrap piece of paper and just paint the glue on the rest of that. And then you can actually just go ahead and close it. Just close it up to press it into place instead of trying to get your finger in there, if possible, which it is, okay? So it should open up like that. So you have that nice stamen in there. So that just leaves one more, fold it in half. Let's get the first half in place. And let's thin that out. Now, if you're finding that these are too small to work with, um, one thing you could do is you could also draw these in if you want, or uh, you can't really use bling because it would be too thick. But you could always draw them in if you would prefer in which case it would be easier to do when these are flat, okay? But I don't think, I don't know, I don't think you're gonna have problems with it. And then grab your scrap. Just paint that into place and press down. Okay, there we go. All right, so you can see how it opens up and it's beautiful. So here's what we're gonna do now to get this in place. We're gonna take and, oops, it goes like this. <laughs> this little tip right here is this tip right here. This is right here. And this little nub right here is here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna put glue in pretty much this entire piece down here. Okay, like so. Just line that up with the green part. And press that down and hold it. And then let's go ahead and fold it over. Just make sure, it's gonna be a kind of a bulky card, but that's okay. We anticipated that, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue the other half down like that so when you open it, it reveals just like that. Okay, so we'll go over here onto the other side and apply glue to just that little section. We're gonna take that and I'm gonna start with the tip here. Line that up first. And the rest of it should kind of fall into place. Just press that down nicely. So of course you have plenty of room here and here to do whatever writing you want to do. Now let's make sure it closes and it does. Beautiful. And there you have it. And that is how it's going to open up. I think that's pretty, pretty cool, man. Okay, so all that's left to do now is take, and you can either glue this down or foam square it. Like I mentioned, um, there's a little, how does this work? Well, it goes this way. 
Oh yeah, right here. Uh, the little leaf next to this half flower right here goes right there. And then this you just want to kind of angle so that it's just slightly above the deer mom. Okay, if you want to use foam squares on this, you can. We've got plenty of spaces to put that, uh, put little foam squares on the main stem. And that's going to do it for this card. So again, here is the magical reveal of the pop-up mechanism on the inside. Gorgeous. So it's going to do it for our cherry blossom pop-up card. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely one of our most impressive, I think. Um, you guys are going to love it. Uh, so anyway, hope you had a blast. If you did, please visit us on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button. While you're there, hit the little bell so you get notifications anytime we release a new project, whether it be paid or free. And if you make this or anything from our new bundle, I would love to see it. And so would the rest of our uh, community. So head over to your Facebook, do a search for Dreaming Tree Official. That's where you'll find me and over 47,000 of our friends. So again, hope you had a blast. And as always, I look forward to crafting with you again. Hey, thanks for crafting along with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of our other videos and please consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to visit our site and check out our free SVG section where you'll find over 140 free SVG files complete with assembly tutorials. I'll see you in the craft room.